There you are. You don't fancy a quick drink, do you? I've just finished work. And... Oh, I'm sorry, I, I can't. I've, I've still got stuff to do here. Look, I'm happy to listen if you just need it. Yeah, I know, I know. And, and, and that's very kind. But I, I'm not going to let a stupid breakup get to me at, at my age. It's just, it's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, please. Don't, don't, don't. Just, just make a fool of myself. Hey, Mum. Oh, oh hi, hey, oh. you two. <laughs> Oh, Wilder, I swear you get taller every time I see you. He's coming to do some work for Damo. What? Oh, at this hour. Yeah, better go in there. <laughs> Enjoy your holiday with your grandmother? Um, it was OK. I know you two split up. And maybe we shouldn't talk about this here. I don't know why, too. She ditched you for that guy she's seen, right? You know about that? Yeah, I mean, I saw them together and figured it out. I'm not stupid, you know. Oh dear. Flaunting him in front of her own grandson, that is despicable. Oh, well, <laughs> no skin off my nose <laughs> if she wants to turn her back on the love we shared. <laughs> to think I was going to marry the woman. <laughs> and all this time, I thought she loved me, but all along, she was lying and cheating and lying to my face. Insult after insult. Well, do you know what? It's good riddance. To that fake piece of rubbish because and to all her lies and and then her betrayal and her lies and her <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry that Wilder dropped it on you like that. I actually think he's pretty angry about it. Well, you know what teenagers are like. Uh, probably thinks we're a couple of silly old women, which we are. So when did Roz meet this man? Turns out she's been seeing him for several months. Jason. Puny little lilac grower from Levin. I've heard him say his name, but I thought he was just a business associate. Yeah, well, somewhere along the line, it turned into a nasty little business in a cheap motel in Foxton. <laughs> so, here we are. I really don't know what to say. Oh, well, you know, Ros, always flighty and flirty, the way she was when she met me. That kiss under the mistletoe. Oh, I just think she had the nerve to give me attitude about fancying Sean Bean. It's uh, just... Yeah, that was, that was a bit hypocritical. Oh, yeah, yeah, projecting all her flaws on you, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm not going to worry about any of that anymore. No time. It was all a mirage, a big fat lie. Mm. No, I just have to focus on myself now. That's right, you do. I know it's rough, Mum, but you'll be OK. We'll make sure you're OK, I yeah. promise. Yeah, I know. I'll always have you and mm. Belly and, and, and Maeve. Well, who knows? If she sides with that cheating fake, she'll have a fight on her hands. Look, it doesn't have to be a big drama. We can support you both through this, OK? You'd support Roz? You, you, you would do that to your own mother. I, no, I am the victim here, Nicole. I am the one who has had her heart ripped out and tossed onto a bed of old, old, dead lilacs. Why don't you keep focusing on yourself? Yeah, yeah, don't you worry, I will be. I'm not letting Roz get her cheating hands on best buds. <laughs> she'll expect to have it all. I'm sure she'll be reasonable about oh, it all. There is nothing reasonable about that woman. She'll turn on you just like that. Oh, she better lawyer up. I'm not going down without a 